basic text formatting and columns. So we're going to first install a plugin uh, that is specific to formatting columns. So it's going to be called Advanced WP Columns. Install now. Activate. And this will be an easy way without using code of creating column text columns in your page. So I'll create a new page. This will be an About Us page. One of the things to keep in mind about the strategy that we're employing is that uh, we're not focused on content right now. And lorem ipsum is basically random land text. You see this in software manuals and tutorials a lot. It allows the user to see what the text would look like uh, within the website page or the website as a whole without having to worry about content. Obviously all of that will be uh, replaced by actual content, but for right now we're working on the structure. So I just pasted some of this random land text preview. And you can see what it looks like. There's a visual tab and then the text tab focuses on entering HTML code. So whenever you're entering any sort of HTML code, make sure to click on the text tab to do that. So here we're entering code that's readily available on the internet to create columns. In this case, we're going to create two columns, but you can create three columns, four columns with a slight alteration to this HTML code. So going back to the visual tab, you'll see how it manifests itself. We'll go ahead and delete this HTML code for now. Just to give you an idea of exactly how this works, uh, you can do any sort of the standard techniques for uh, editing, um, formatting words, bold italics, alignment, uh, that you would do with any word processor. This tool toggle opens up a second row of options. All the standard options that you can use in any word processor, you can do here in WordPress. Now, Advanced WP Columns, that was just what we clicked on, uh, is a non-coding way of entering uh, text to create columns. So in this case, we're going to click in each section and paste the, uh, the text directly. We'll make sure to adjust the borders so it's uh, flush on both sides. We'll keep the spacing in the middle. That can be adjusted. And there you can see the columns being created. I like this plugin because there might be situations where you might want to have text that's formed in columns and then in the same page have a paragraph in a different formatting. This plugin allows you to do that rather easily.